Right, now we're going to talk about compressor bypass valves, dump valves, blow-off valves. The correct name in this circumstance is a compressor bypass valve. So you've got your compressor housing, and this is where your valve sits. This is your factory valve. It's made up of three parts. You've got a piston that's coated in basically a rubber seal, a spring, and then your back part, I guess you'd call it, with a vacuum line through it. So, it sits together like this, and your spring holds it shut. When you come off the throttle, you pull a vacuum behind the throttle body, and then the vacuum travels through your vacuum line that's just behind your throttle body, and pulls this inwards, like that. Normal, in, normal, in. Now this sits on your compressor housing, and it sits in this hole here. As you can see, this is your compressor outlet, and you can see my finger, right? So the end of this rubber seal sits right on this piece here. When it's being retracted from the vacuum line being pull, pulling a vacuum on it, it releases pressure out of this hole and back into this intake throat. You probably can't see it because of the angle, but there is actually a little hole in here, and that's where it travels through. Okay? So that's the factory operation. Now, this spring is really soft, all right? It's perfect for the standard boost levels. Aftermarket-wise, you've got two main types of valves. We're a TurboSmart dealer, so I'm going to use TurboSmart as an example. So we've got the dual port, and we've got the plumb back. The plumb back works in exactly the same way as the factory valve. You've got your vac nipple, you've got a piston, you've got a spring. But the piston removes releases back in like this but this takes a lot more pressure because it's a much harder spring so when you're running higher than factory boost levels because this spring is a little bit weak it can sometimes get pushed open and you basically create an internal boost leak you can't hear it you wouldn't even feel it but you're losing energy so an uprated valve is the way to go okay now the dual port works in exactly the same fashion as the plumb back it's got one vent there for the first bit and then it's got another vent there and there so it's a slightly taller valve and it's adjustable if you turn it clockwise you're bringing this part of the valve closer to the bottom which applies more preload on the spring if you loosen it lengthens it therefore less preload this will give your sound this will sound exactly the same as factory if you've got an open air intake, you can hear more of like a doo -doo -doo kind of fluttery sound. Not a high pitched one like compressor surge, that's something totally different that we wish to avoid. So, dual ports, take them apart. You untwist the top part, and you've got to be careful when you do this, because it is under tension, because there is a spring in there, right? So, now you can see there's a seal. It's an o-ring and if we keep unscrewing there you go so we've got our top piece that's the bottom of the vac line nipple we've got our spring which is real heavy duty i mean you can see the comparison between this spring and the factory one i do that all day i could probably do it with my pinky yeah where's that well see that really takes a lot more effort that's a, a much more heavier duty spring Okay, then we've got our piston, which is brass, with a stainless steel edge, and then the o-ring around the side, and that's our empty body. Okay, so, sealing shut, because it's got the o-ring inside, first stage of operation, second stage. So that first stage when it opens, just releases back into the intake tract, of the turbocharger. When we're doing this one, it's going to atmosphere. You need to be aware though, in all states in Australia, it is illegal to vent to the atmosphere. So this isn't street legal. This, however, is. The only other note you need to be aware of that I'm going to mention today is when you're fitting these, you can see there's a flat edge here. That flat edge represents where this vent port is on both the plumb back and the dual port that flat edge must be facing the machine flat edge here otherwise the vent port isn't facing the inlet track so it's got to fit on like that it will bolt on all other ways 
but that's not the correct way and it won't operate. So when you're fitting, remember flat edge to flat edge. Only other little thing I'm going to touch on is when you buy these new from TurboSmart, they come with new bolts. They also come with a 90 degree swivel fitting. I personally don't like the swivel fittings. I leave the straight nipples on, it's a lot easier. But if space is tight, then you can use the swivel fitting. You just remove this one, spin this one on by hand. I don't use a spanner. If you use a spanner, you can over tighten it and squish this o-ring out and then it leaks. Literally spin it all the way around until it stops and then just grab it and turn it a little bit further forward. And that's your blow off valve CBV operation.